are obtained. Proper breath control is critical to the aiming process. Breathing causes the body to move. The movement transfers to the rifle, making it impossible to maintain proper sight picture. Breath control allows the Marine to fire the rifle at the moment of least movement. It is critical that Marines interrupt their breathing at a point of natural respiratory pause before firing a long-range shot or a precision shot from any distance. A respiratory cycle inhaling and exhaling lasts about four to five seconds. Between respiratory cycles there is a natural pause of two to three seconds. During this natural respiratory pause your breathing muscles are relaxed and your rifle sights settle at their natural point of aim. The shot should be fired at this point. Some Marines can extend this natural pause up to 15 seconds to fire a shot. The pause should only last as long as you feel comfortable with it. The duration of the pause really depends on your physical condition and lung capacity. Holding your breath longer than is comfortable will result in a lack of oxygen. This may cause your vision to deteriorate and may also affect your ability to focus on the sights. These are the techniques of applying breath control for a precision shot. Breathe naturally until your sight picture begins to settle. Then take a slightly deeper breath. Exhale and stop breathing at the natural respiratory pause. You then fire the shot during the natural respiratory pause. During rapid fire, you should breathe after each shot is fired. This establishes a rhythm for shooting. Stop breathing at your natural respiratory pause and assess your natural point of aim. Then take a slightly deeper breath. Exhale and stop breathing at the natural respiratory pause while applying pressure to the trigger. You will fire the shot as the rifle settles on the natural point of aim during the natural respiratory pause. You then simply repeat this process for every shot fired during rapid fire. A Marine in a combat environment may not have the time to fire a shot during the natural respiratory pause. His breathing and heart rate increase due to physical exertion or the stress of battle. Therefore, he must interrupt his breathing cycle to create a pause that is long enough to fire a shot. However, a Marine should not make a conscious effort to perform breath control. The basic technique is as follows. Take a deep breath, filling the lungs with oxygen. Hold the breath and apply pressure to the trigger. Fire the shot. Not hitting where you aim is usually caused by your aim being disturbed just before or as the bullet leaves the barrel. During the natural respiratory pause, a desired aiming point must be achieved. The trigger must be manipulated without disturbing the aiming process. Trigger control must be employed to shoot accurately. Trigger control is the skillful manipulation of the trigger that causes the rifle to fire without disturbing sight alignment and sight picture. While pulling the trigger is a physical process, controlling the trigger is a mental process. A firm grip is essential for good trigger control. The grip should be established before starting the application of trigger control and maintained throughout the duration of the shot. To establish a firm grip on the rifle, you must place the V form between the thumb and index finger on the grip directly behind the trigger. You will place your fingers and thumb around the pistol grip in a location that allows your trigger finger to be placed naturally on the trigger and the thumb in a position to operate the safety. Your grip should be firm enough to allow manipulation of the trigger straight to the rear without disturbing the sight. The correct placement of the trigger finger must be understood before trigger control can be successfully mastered. Your trigger finger should contact the trigger naturally. No special effort should be made to place a certain portion of your finger on the trigger. Placement of the finger on the trigger depends on the size of your hand and how you grip the pistol grip. 
you will know that your placement is correct when you can manipulate the trigger straight to the rear without disturbing sight alignment. There are two techniques of trigger control. The preferred method of trigger control is uninterrupted trigger control. After obtaining sight picture, you apply smooth, continuous pressure rearward on the trigger until the shot is fired. Remember, the tip of the front sight post should appear sharply focused and distinct as the shot is fired. If firing in extremely windy conditions, you will need to employ another technique known as interrupted trigger control. Interrupted trigger control is used in extremely windy conditions when the weapon will not settle, forcing the Marine to pause until the sights return to his aiming point. To perform interrupted trigger control, pull the trigger to the rear until an error is detected in the aiming process. When this occurs, stop the rearward motion on the trigger but maintain the pressure on the trigger until sight picture is achieved. When the sight picture settles, continue the rearward pressure on the trigger until the shot is fired. Do not try and force your rifle into the aiming point. Let the rifle move naturally toward and away from the aiming point on your target. If the rifle is moving toward the target, continuously apply pressure. However, if the rifle is moving away from the target or aiming point, Hold your trigger pressure until the rifle starts drifting back toward your aiming point. Then apply pressure to the trigger. If the shot breaks as the sights are moving toward your aiming point, the shot will normally be inside your call. Follow through is the continued application of the fundamentals until the round has exited the barrel. Follow through is important to avoid altering the impact of the round by keeping the rifle as still as possible until the round exits the barrel. It is important to get the rifle sights back on the target for another shot. This is known as recovery. Shot recovery starts immediately after the round leaves the barrel. To recover quickly, a Marine must physically bring the sights back on the target as quickly as possible. Resetting the trigger. During recovery, release the pressure on the trigger slightly to reset the trigger after the first shot is delivered. Do not remove the finger from the trigger. This places the trigger in position to fire the next shot without having to re-establish trigger finger placement. The correct use of your service rifle is critical mission accomplishment and your survivability. If you hope to bring accurate fire to bear on the target, you must master the fundamentals. With practice, these skills, aiming, breath control, and trigger control, become second nature to every Marine. With them, you can bring accurate fire to bear in any combat situation. And accurate fire on the target translates to victory on the battle.